how God changes your life. All right, guys. This is the way that God changes your life. Okay? Let's say you don't know why you're alive. Okay? Here, one second. Just hold on, guys, for one minute. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, let's say you don't know why you're alive. You don't love yourself. You have your doubts. Just about everything. You only believe things that you see physically. Okay. So, that's where you're at. Okay. Okay. So think about this. You only believe in things you see. Well, can you explain anything that you see? Like, honestly, can you explain any of this away? You know? Um,. Is there any logical way to explain the things that are here? Okay. That's my question. So, if we live in an intricate world, lots of, uh, you know, there's different animals. There's different, you know, what is it? We have dirt, sand, uh, wood, all types of different elements. Okay. We have a lot of different things in this world of a moving cosmos, right? Everything is moving. There's planets, there's the sun, there's the moon. All right, so it's gonna get a little tricky to explain this away. That, you know, yes, this is all here, but I only believe in the things I see. Well, then you're gonna get caught in worshiping the things you see. You'll worship the moon, the sun, the stars, the elements, the animals, the fish, the humans. But if you only believe in what you see, you're missing out on a lot of things because the fact that there's all this stuff for us to see doesn't mean that there's not anything more, right? E even uh, like... What about microscopic organisms? You can't even see them. You can't see microscopic organisms. So if you get caught in this thing of, I only believe in what I see, you might have a great life. But after your life is over, you know, you can't see your death. You can't see what happens after your death. So why only believe in things you can see? I would rather have an open mind and be open to possibilities, you know, because a lot of things that we can see, can you see things inside yourself? Can you see your thoughts? You know, the, the world within yourself, you know, you can't always see it. It's more of a feeling. So if you only believe in things that you see, I want you to tap into your feelings. And not like on not like Drake, how you be in his feelings. What I mean is tap into your feeling. Anything you feel. Right? It's important to know about what you feel and what you don't. And if you only believe in the things you see, it's hard to really know if you have feelings because you can't see feelings but they're there and the more you can tap into your feelings the more you're going to be open towards maybe a god maybe god jesus christ or something that you wish to believe in okay but if you only believe in things that you can see, what about when the sun goes down and you don't have a flashlight?
and it gets dark and you can't see anything. Are you going to believe in nothing when that happens? When it's all dark and you can't see anything? Does that mean that the day doesn't exist anymore? That trees no longer exist? That animals no longer exist? Just because you can't see them? That's my argument for you guys. And I want you to think about what I said. Alright? And remember, don't always, don't ever be stressed out or feel down. Right? You'll feel that way if you only believe in things that are physical, that you can see right now. But let's say you can tap into something different. You can tap into, wow, I feel very intrigued that this world is here. I feel flabbergasted that all this is around me. I feel interested that maybe there's more than just the things we see. And the more you can tap into that, you'll never feel depressed, stressed out. You'll start to feel gleeful. You'll start to feel happy that things aren't always what they seem. You just got to surrender yourself. What I mean by surrender yourself is accept that there might be more to this world than just you and a bunch of humans on a planet and that's it because in life you don't always get the whole story sometimes you just get a little small picture of what's going on but there's a big blueprint behind everything that you don't get right away yeah. so if you only believe in the things you see I suggest you start being open-minded towards the things you don't see because there's a whole lot of things that we don't see. All right, so you got to tap into something that is more than just sight. You see, I've worn glasses my whole life, but up until the age of five, I never wore them, and I'm legally blind without my glasses. So I had to tap into something other than sight. For my first five years of life, I had to tap into something other than sight. I wasn't gifted just being able to see everything. And that's why I'm so different and unique and special. I'm not like most other people. Probably because I couldn't see that well. But yeah. Thanks for listening to my video. I appreciate it. And that's all I have to say.